Cell phones, smartphones, we all use them on a daily basis. To call, to text, to check email, to send pictures, to play the latest game, and to use the latest app. The cell phone has become a portable computer. But do we think twice about the safety of these portable computers we use every second of every day? Cell phones emit an electromagnetic field. A growing body of evidence suggests that these RF or radio frequency fields are linked to serious health problems. Before looking at the scientific studies, let's review the cell phones themselves. iPhones, Androids, Blackberries, the most popular cell phones on the market. Here's what the manufacturers say. iPhone 3G. When using iPhone near your body for voice calls or for wireless data transmission over a cellular network, keep iPhone at least 15 millimeters, 5 eighths of an inch, away from your body. Android, Nexus 4. This device meets RF exposure guidelines when positioned at least 1.5 centimeters away from the body. Ensure the above separation distance instructions are followed until the transmission is completed. BlackBerry Curve. When you wear your BlackBerry device close to your body, maintain a distance of 0.98 inches or 25 millimeters between your BlackBerry device and your body while your BlackBerry is transmitting. The long-term effects of exceeding RF exposure standards might present a risk of serious harm. Now all of these cell phones we have do contain a warning and this is because the companies know that their product is potentially harmful. The International Agency for Research on Cancer, a part of the World Health Organization, has classified cell phones as a Class B carcinogen. Research has been conducted by the cell phone industry and independent bodies alike. Not surprisingly, the results have been quite different. The study often cited by the cell phone industry as evidence to the public that their cell phones are safe has some glaring problems. Some of these include the length of the study, study bias, study funding, and an incomplete study. Dr. George Carlo worked for the cell industry and was told to cover up his findings of significant increases in brain tumors among cell users. He has since been a whistleblower about the dangers of cell phones and has helped to alert consumers. An independent Swedish study found brain tumors increase from cell phone use. Studies show the cumulative effect of phone use. Dangers are significantly increased for children, precisely who most of these companies advertise toward. Numerous countries have governmental warnings about children's use of cell phones. The UK, France, Russia, Israel, Germany, India, and others have such warnings. Cell radiation has been known to cause damage to DNA, a precursor to cancer. Cell phones have been found to damage male fertility. There's also the potential risk for increase in breast cancer among women who store their cell phones in their bra. Headlines across the world and the web have highlighted our concerns. Yet many of the problems from the proliferation of cell phone use has yet to become a public issue. The longer we use these cell phones incorrectly, the greater the damage to ourselves and society. However, we can still understand the health risks while using cell phones in a safer manner. Most people can't afford not to use their cell phones in a day and age where instantaneous information is what rules. Here are some tips for how you can reduce your RF exposure and potentially protect yourself from some of these health concerns. Number one, keep your cell phone off your body, either on the table next to you, in your bag, in your purse, or on your desk. Definitely, definitely do not store your cell phone in your bra or on your body directly for an extended period of time. Two, use your cell phone's built-in speakerphone or use a tethered headset whenever possible. Three, Place your cell phone in flight mode when you don't need to make or receive phone calls. 4. Send messages and make calls when you have better service. And 5. Most importantly, reduce your time on your cell phone if at all possible.
This health message has been brought to you by Matthew Block. We got this. Listen, learn, live.